And in order for us to solve many big problems around the world, it is in our interest to work with Russia and obtain their cooperation. I think we should all hope for a Russia that is successful, where its people are uh, employed and the economy is growing and uh, they are uh, you know, having good relationships with their neighbors uh, and participating constructively on big issues like climate change. And my hope is that the President-elect coming in uh, uh, takes a similarly constructive approach, finding areas where we can cooperate with Russia, where our, our values and interests align, but that the President-elect also is willing to stand up to Russia where they are deviating from our values and international norms. Uh, and uh, I don't expect that the President-elect will follow exactly our blueprint or our approach. But my hope is, is that uh, he does not simply take a real politic approach and suggest that, you know, if we just cut some deals with Russia, uh, even if it hurts people or even if it violates international norms or even if it leaves smaller countries vulnerable uh, or creates long-term problems uh, in regions like Syria, that we just do whatever is convenient at the time. We continued to stand with the people of Ukraine and for the basic principle that nations have a right to determine their own destiny. And we discussed the importance of maintaining sanctions until Russia fully complies with the Minsk agreement. I am encouraged by the President-elect's insistence that uh, NATO is a commitment that does not change. And uh, his full commitment to NATO as the foundation for our international security, I think, is very important.